and this is the moment when I will tell Marmin that I'm starting doing vlogs. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Today is 21st of January. Uh, I'm in Prague. It's cold as... And yesterday uh, I had a meeting with uh, Jirka Kral, who is my friend and he's he was a YouTuber for a long time and I was telling him uh, about all those things what we are doing in beat games and what I was doing in the music and all the things that are happening and he told me that I actually uh, should start doing uh, vlogs about things what I do which seems a little bit crazy to me and even more crazy that I'm holding the phone right now but I'm here so uh, I think it's important to connect dots because when we spoke yesterday there was there was a few things what happened in the past and just because I started as a mechanical engineer then quit went to Oxford uh, to SAE Institute where I started to uh, learn music and then I went to LA I started to do a lot of trailers and then we created with my friends a beat game studio and we are doing a VR game called Beat Saber. <laughs> you may heard or may not. So there's like a lot of steps what, what are happening and for people it may seem like that I'm like some lucky guy or something, but I'm not. Uh, I'm definitely not luckier than anybody else on this planet. Uh, but there is a lot of lot of progress and steps what needed to be taken for this progress. And I think it's important to share this. Share a little bit behind the scenes so people can understand what is actually happening and why is that happening and that it actually can happen to them as well or to you. So I decided to kick my butt from my comfort zone again and do this. At least for a week. Yeah. And the name of this vlog and the future vlogs would be what's behind because I would like to show you all the things behind this and what we are doing in beat games and what we are doing in other projects you still don't know about. Simple as that. That's scary. That's underground. Prague underground. Oh, damn. So. Right now we are in the offices uh, where the Beat Games, the company where I'm co-founder and CEO, will be located from now. But basically before, before that this was offices of my friend who had the company here for a long long time and before I came to US, uh, which was like two years ago, I was here, actually here. <laughs> And let's go there. So as you can see, this place is like little cave, <laughs> and I had a studio here. And this will happen again this time. And when my friend told me that this space will be empty, and then he's moving to a bigger place with his company, uh, I have to like take this place, even though I thought that it will be like as my personal office because I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. So. I try to not be selfish and uh, I told uh, Jan and Vlado, which are, they are our co-founders uh, in Beat Games, that it will be better if we will have like finally some offices because right now we are under <laughs> uh, under rooftop in one house which looks more like college flat or something. Uh, so right now I'm here just because I need to prepare everything for our architects because we will be like painting floors and, and fun stuff like this uh, really soon. Um, they did for us um, very cool visualizations, stuff like this, and this, and they did really cool budget as well. I don't want to show it because I'm freaking out from it. So yeah, so these are the sketches. We will keep less chairs. We will take out this, this is like uh, acoustic foam, we will change the color and yeah, this is how it should look like here. So yeah, so I'm preparing everything, I need to take out <laughs> this stuff, which is 
uh, ship, like luggage or something, it's like 50 years old or maybe more. Uh, we of course have this, which is the Beat Saber logo, which should be somewhere here. And after that, I'm going to the offices because it's Monday and we have a team meeting. So, and I'm actually running late again. So it's the next day. Uh, the team meeting went really well. We were discussing the multiplayer uh, custom songs. Uh, Wow, uh, we discuss a lot of things. Uh, we actually have here also our advisors from San Francisco. They came to visit us and right now I'm going to the new offices. And we also decided uh, that we will probably make a <laughs> documentary about uh, beat games. So we are starting to shoot uh, some uh, videos from our meetings and we will be putting everything together because I think um, it is one hell of a story to tell <laughs> what's actually happening behind the beat saber. So yeah, we started yesterday. This is Winter Prague and I'm going from the, from the meeting with uh, our advisors and today was pretty exciting because we got the uh, first deal uh, done regarding the music pack what we are doing I can't say which one it will be but uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool it was a lot of negotiations but just the music rights in the in the music industry is like the one of the most challenging things would what you can face off pretty much so I'm, I'm happy that we made this happen and uh, it would be a lot of additional work to make these things right. It's also interesting to see how the major labels works because just the publishing side of licensing is pretty crazy. All right, let me step in a little bit uh, because I'm, I'm sure that not everybody knows what master and publishing means. So basically, super easy. When you want to license a track for your commercial or some commercial project, you have to deal with master rights and publishing rights. Each song has this. Master rights is mostly owned by label, and that's super easy. Just one sign, you will put a bunch of money, and that's it. But publishing, this is getting even more complicated. Publishing is owned mostly by the artist. But the artist has publishing agencies who owns the publishing for him. And it's getting even more complicated because, for example, when you have some hip-hop track or some other track where it's more people who worked on, on the track, it can be that crazy that one track has, for example, 10 publishers. So you have to deal and sign the contract with all 10 of the publishers. And even though that one publisher has just one person, it can still ruin the whole thing. And if you are doing this for 10 or 20 or 50 songs, you can imagine how crazy this could be. So this is the pain about licensing music and it have to change in the future because yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, uh, I think that the music industry in this way needs really step a step, step into 21st century. Uh, but when I spoke with a couple guys why it's not happening yet and why it's so complicated to license anything in the music uh, it's because the music is here like or the music industry is here uh, almost 300 years or something like this and therefore those structures are pretty old-fashioned so so yeah, but hopefully it's going in the right direction now uh, and YouTube labels especially who are holding like master and publishing uh, making it much more easier for licensing and therefore the, even for the artists, artists. So that's, that's according to me the way to go. 
So that's it for the first vlog. Uh, if you would like to ask any questions or would you like to see something in the next vlog, let me know in comments below and uh, I will I will try to cover it in the next episodes. I would like to do it uh, probably weekly. So that's the plan for now. See you next time.